Well, it is 1 o'clock p.m. on Saturday, January the 31st, 2015, and this is the first video that I'll be sending you, Mr. Mazer. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie with a pin on it, and I haven't done my hair, and I haven't shaved. I'm gonna go ahead and fix all of that. There, that's better, isn't it? So, what I was gonna talk to you about today is a struggle that I have as an actor. The problem is, I have a hard time connecting emotionally with the work. And it's not that I don't understand what emotions are going on, it's that I don't like to use my emotions when I play a character on stage. While I have no trouble emotionally understanding a scene or like getting what the character is thinking about, uh, the problem that I have is that I don't like to use my emotions when I'm portraying a character on stage. I like to give the character's emotions. Obviously, the best emotions that I can display are my own because they are the real emotions and they're the ones that I can rely on to be realistic. The problem is, is that I haven't yet discovered that happy medium between cerebrally understanding what emotional journey the character is going through and using my actual emotions to flesh out those realities. Whenever I'm in class, I always see people giving these ridiculously awesome, emotionally vulnerable, and emotionally authentic performances for monologues, for scene work, for life for life. And the problem is that I don't like to give my own emotions because I feel like that's too vulnerable a place to go to. And maybe that's just something that I need to get over and that I need to just use my emotions. And I think that a lot of the acting literature and many, probably all professors would agree with that statement. It just feels to me disingenuous to use my emotional experiences when I'm portraying a character who has their emotions. That's something I need to figure out for myself. But that's one of the struggles that I have as an actor. Also, I'm going to tack on a little thing about a pet peeve of mine, which is when technology malfunctions unexpectedly. I used to have this phone. It's not this phone. This is a really good phone. But I used to have this smartphone. It was the first smartphone I ever had. It was called an LG G2X, and it was the worst piece of technology any human being ever invented. It would malfunction. It would freeze when I would just do the startup screen. It would freeze when I would open maps. It would freeze when I would open... Facebook. It would freeze on apps that never froze before. I could go for a really long time using the Notepad app, and then three years later, you could just open Notepad one day, and it would just freeze. And it would freeze so badly you had to pull the battery because you couldn't even use the power button anymore. So when I was recording the first draft of this video, I recorded it just fine. It was like six minutes long. And then I went to play it back, and the audio was no longer synced up with the video. But I had just recorded two test videos before that where the audio had stayed synced, and so I have no clue why that happened. But I nearly, like, disemboweled my computer by webcam and, like, ripped that out and then, like, showed it itself. Like, hey, look, look at yourself dying, and then I would have smashed it with, like, an ice pick. But thankfully, I don't have anger control issues, and so I didn't do that. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about today, so I'm excited to hear what you have to say. Don't have a crooked bow tie. There we go. Okay. And hopefully this loud snap doesn't break everything. <laughs>